Uh, the big news to come out of the briefing today, and as well from Anthony Blinken, the Secretary of State, is this notion that President Biden may change his policy toward Israel, depending on how Israel conducts itself in the hours and days ahead. Our Peter Ducey questioned the White House about that moments ago. Let's listen to what happened. On October 7th, President Biden said, my administration's support for Israel's security is rock solid and unwavering. That is not true anymore, correct? That is, no, it is true. Still it, true today. How is his support unwavering, but you're also reconsidering policy choices? Both can be true. They cannot be true. They're, they're completely different things. No. No, no, I just, is, I'm sorry. I, I, he I, is I, wavering. No, 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 come on. How is he not that. wavering? Uh, come on. <laughs> come on now. As I said, and as it says in that readout, we made clear, and, and he made it clear to the prime minister in his call, that our support for Israel's self-defense remains ironclad. They face a range of threats, and the United States isn't going to walk away from helping Israel defend itself. That said, you can say all that, and you can act on that, and you can believe that, and the president does, and still believe that the manner in which they are defending themselves against the Hamas threat needs to change. Mm, there's a lot of hair splitting in there, I think. Uh, exactly. And to Hal Tynrick's point, there's this continuous talk about possibly changing policy uh, on on all of this, but no details exactly what they mean. So that would have been a good point of clarification for would. John Kirby. Uh, well, uh, more clarification to come in the hours ahead here on Fox. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.